Welcome to New York's number two sports show. The Rangers lose to the Carolina Hurricanes 6-1. to one. So the Rangers, who have really played very well against Carolina in the last couple of years, uh, dating back to the 2022 playoff series versus Carolina and the regular season last year, and a few months ago the Rangers beat Carolina at, at MSG, but in the first game in 2024, the Rangers uh, do not play very well. And this game really got away from them, and they lose, you know, handedly. And, and Carolina is going to be a team that, you know, when the dust settles and, you know, it's the playoffs, like Carolina is going to be a tough out, as always. And they, they, you know, haven't gotten to the, the promised land, but they're hungry. Um, they have a good team, and uh, the special teams was advantage Hurricanes tonight. Uh Power play, I mean, the Rangers' power play and penalty kill did not get the job done. And that and that's a big storyline here as the score may have been slightly misleading, um, you know, the first couple of periods. But then, you know, once Carolina made it 3-1, I feel like it took the wind out of the Rangers' sails. And in the third period, again, just poor special teams, and then it just completely got away from them. Um you know, Igor Shosturkin gives up six goals. This really wasn't on him. The team really wasn't that good in front of him. And it's interesting when the Rangers do lose a lot of it, which is not often this year, it, it is, it tends to be lopsided. Uh, and that's what happens here. So the Rangers drop to 25, 10 and one, and they now uh, fall behind the Boston Bruins. The Bruins won tonight. So in keeping track with the NHL standings uh, in the league, the Bruins are now ahead of the Rangers for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, this, this is, you know, look, a division rival and, and I'm not surprised that the Rangers lost this game, but I would have thought there'd been a little bit more fire coming from them considering, like I said, last episode, the last game that these two teams played against each other, things got interesting, I, you know, with the, specifically the Sebastian Ajo knee on knee with Adam Fox and you would have thought that maybe there would have been something that would have come from that. And there really wasn't at all. Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, that they should have done anything, you know, dirty or, or anything like that. But you would have thought uh, there would have been some level of retribution, but it did not happen at all. And, you know, for Carolina, they got good goaltending from Kochekov. Uh, made 28 saves on 29 shots. So, you know, when he was needed, he delivered. So... Uh, yeah, definitely not a great game for the Rangers. I would expect them to bounce back, hopefully next game, home against the Chicago Blackhawks. And as I'm recording, this, Chicago is losing one nothing to Nashville. But regardless of that, you know, they have Connor Bedard, but, you know, Chicago, who lately, they, no, sorry, they, they, they've been bad. They, they, they have been bad. They, they they have one of the worst records in, in the league. So, and they're specifically off on the road. That said, different circumstances. The Rangers were really poor at this time, but last season when Jacob Truba threw his helmet, like the Blackhawks came to MSG and beat the Rangers. But it's different now. Like, from what we've seen for the Rangers, they should be able to bounce back against Chicago next game. But as far as this Carolina game goes, uh, definitely was not great. So let's let's talk about it. Igor was in net, which was not a surprise. And as far as that next Blackhawk game, uh, it very well might be Jonathan Quick. Uh, it'll certainly be the Rangers play the Blackhawks Thursday, and then they go to Montreal Saturday. And I'm sure that Igor will get one. Quick the other is the best bet there. But right away, the Rangers take a penalty. And, you know, maybe you could argue that this play was a little bit of just, you know, incidental contact between Lafreniere and Seth Jarvis, but they call interference on Lafreniere at the 32nd mark. So right away, Chris Drury's nephew, Jack Drury, scores a power play goal. A sixth goal of the season from Nason and Brady Shea, the former Rangers. So a nice shot by Drury on a, on a one-timer, and that makes it one nothing Carolina right there. Uh, then at 424, Jalen Chatfield holds Artemi Panarin. So... Um, you know, Rangers get a power play, but they don't do anything with it. And the the Rangers went 0 for 3 on their power plays and didn't generate a whole lot. We've seen this before. I don't, I, I, I'm not going to pull up the stats right now for what Carolina is on the PK, but I certainly know that in the past, they've had a very good penalty kill. Maybe that's the case again this season. 
but Rangers don't score on it. And then what's a bit of a killer is at 1904, Truba is called for holding Sebastian Ajo. And before the period is out, at 1929, Svechnikov scores his seventh goal of the season uh, from Ajo and Burns. So again, two power play goals for Carolina in the first. One early in the period, one late. So that's a little bit tough. But the Rangers came out swinging in the second period. They draw a power play. Martin Oak slashes Keandre Miller at 144. They don't score on that. But soon thereafter, Chris Kreider, with his patented tip-in, scores his 19th of the season from Truba and Panarin. So Truba takes a shot from the point. Kreider gets a stick on it, and it goes past Kachekov. Uh, and so that makes it 2-1 there. But then here was, to me, like the killer of the game. And it's two minutes and two minutes and two seconds later, Jordan Martinuk scores his second goal of the season um, from Jordan Stahl. So, and this is a play where Eric Gustafson kind of, le- blame goes to Gustafson, Schneider, and Shesterkin. Like, this should have been a play that the puck was easily taken out of the zone. Gustafson kind of leaves it in a tough spot. Schneider is unable to corral it. Igor kind of halfway goes for it, and so the puck just sits there. And Carolina is able to take advantage of it. Martin Uke, uh, and Stahl passes it to Martin Uke, who scores. So that was really, really sloppy. Um, it, it's funny. As good as this Ranger team has been, like, you definitely see a lot of, you know, in, like individual holes. And I don't know if there's much that will be done. Like, as far, like, honestly, probably, could, like, assuming everyone's healthy, like, Gus of and Schneider are probably going to be your third pair. Um, that's just how it is, but do I feel great about it? Absolutely not. So Carolina takes a 3-1 lead. Then at 7.38, Tyler Pitlick is called for slashing uh, Andre Svechnikov. The Rangers kill that off. And then at 19.21, Rangers have a little bit of an opportunity. Marty Natchez holds Fox, um, but the Hurricanes kill that off going into the third. And then uh, basically, what was it? Um, 12 seconds after Natchez leaves the box, Carolina scores, um, and it's a goal by Ch- Jalen Chatfield, his fourth goal of the season from Drury and Natchez. So right there, it's 4-1 Carolina, and then only a minute and 23 seconds after, Sveshnikov scores his second of the night, his eighth of the season from Brady Shea, makes it 5-1. So, you know, again, at this point, the Rangers kind of, um, I don't want to say gave up, but the third period was pretty ugly just all the way around. They, they weren't playing, you know, they were just chasing the game and it, it was not a good period. Anyway, you look at it at 644, Blake Wheeler trips, Brent Burns, the Rangers kill it off. And then for good measure at 1549, Michael Bunting scores his ninth goal of the season from Brandon Lemieux and Brady Shea. So Brandon Lemieux, the former Ranger gets his first, either his first point or his, at least his first assist. As a Carolina Hurricane, it was a nice pass by Lemieux. Adam Fox was kind of late to get back. Bunting beats him and scores past Igor. So that makes it 6-1, and that's your final score. So the Rangers actually only play Carolina three team, three times this year. So it's just one more game against Carolina to determine who wins the season series, and that one will be uh, in Carolina March 12th. So um, we'll see what, what happens with that one. But... Yeah, definitely not a good game from the Rangers, um, you know, on home ice to start the new year for them. Uh, Not what you're looking for, but uh, the Rangers, as we've talked about, following a loss, they are um, 9-1. They've only had one two-game losing streak, and those were two road games. So for them to lose two at home, especially one of the Blackhawks, would be very unlike this team. And so I would expect them to hopefully bounce back um, Peter Laviolette certainly won't be happy with this effort as the Rangers uh, lose to the Carolina Hurricanes by a score of 6-1. to one.